I'm Zach, this is RomeWorld. You know what it is, I know what it is. Let's skip the formalities and jump straight in. This 881 year old woman is Grasmer Hardboiled. She's got very good construction, very good mining, knows her way around a plant, can't do the thinky or the art, but she, she can throw a stone maybe and hit within a mile of her target. Can't throw a punch though. And yeah, she's gonna be uh, landing naked with uh, losing his fun Randy Random. You don't wanna be like this. This is disgusting. This is awful in every way. While she may be naked and afraid and scared, she does have the wonderful radiant word of Stefan. Glorious, glorious religion based around Stefan. He is pure, he is perfect, and he likes mushrooms. And with that all covered, I think it's time we jump right into it. So we spawn in, and for the first five days, it's mostly just getting prepared. I cut out the blocks for my uh, mushroom farm, seal off the exits, cut down some trees, cut more berries, lots of stuff. I did uh, make a club and bash a rat, some Charlie work, of course. Then, while looking around the cave, we noticed these agrilux down here, and so I decided to harvest them, and we get some wild shrooms, which is very cool. Although we do get food poisoning, but we do make some headway on our fungal gravel. This is the basis of our mushroom farm. The next day, we get some mushrooms planted down, finally. And... Uh, for for some reason i i have honestly no idea why i thought it was a good idea i queue up 10 clubs because i think that's going to give grassmere enough crafting experience to make a bow for some reason and so i just waste all my wood for the next couple days on that next couple days go by pretty uneventfully we kill some rats and and squirrels and rabbits and stuff and well good trader comes by doesn't want to buy the clubs of course uh yeah and that is until day 12 where grassmere gets into this fight with this one rabbit that just absolutely wrecks her i think she was in major food poisoning at the time and yeah it's it's horrible it's an absolute massacre but yeah she eventually gets up brushes herself off uh, slaps some leaves on it and goes on with her day uh, yeah, she uh, spends the next couple days uh, harvesting berries and stuff, and uh, yeah, she gets a uh, quest to kill some imps in five days, but she uh, before she can do that, she goes and kills the rabbit that she thinks that uh, beat her up, harvests that, makes clothes finally, so she's not naked anymore, kills a few more squirrels and stuff and uh yeah and she gets an infection after killing those squirrels and rats and stuff so she's kind of upsetty spaghetti about that uh first few mushrooms get harvested finally so just as grassmere goes down we get this uh little blue guy his name's borshi Thankfully, he can. He just barely edges out that uh, amputation right as the infection is at 98%. Like, if he had been even a few, if he, he had even been a full two seconds later, she would have died, and that would have been a failed run. And I, I would have been so upset. But like, I am so glad that he came in clutch. And so the next day. He uh, helps harvest a few mushrooms and stuff, but the uh, raccoons that chased him because he was a quest guy. Uh, yeah, they leave the map for some reason. I've never seen them do that before, but yeah, they leave the map so we can open up. We get the uh, raids that I mentioned earlier that the, we took the quest for. So an imp shows up and i put grassmere down by the trap hallway that we made but then grassmere goes berserk goes and beats up borshi 
the imp comes down into the trap hallway anyways and dies there. And then Grasmere just kind of wanders around. Borshi crawls into bed because that's a that's a really cool mechanic that gets added in this version is the crawling. And then Sam, our local uh, wild man, he comes by and Grasmere goes and assaults him, but he puts her in her place beats her up and puts her down in pain shock and she crawls into bed and now both of them are in bed and starving to death because they can't heal because they aren't tended and so they're just kind of laying there and I, at this point I thought the run was over genuinely. Another deus ex machina happens where uh, we get this woman named Doofer who shows up. So she gets them patched up and so after that, Borsh and Grasmere finally get up, and uh, Doofer goes and hunts some rats because Doofer has a decent shooting skill and brought a gun with her. Uh, Borshi goes berserk the next day, and Doofer has to take him down, and then we uh, do some shroom harvesting. And we uh, go ahead and put down another seal, so it's like an airlock, and uh, we make that into a, a bedroom. And yeah, it's more uh, harvesting, and uh, we do get a really good drop pod that's got like a hundred or not. It was like 50 herbal medicine, which was really good. That lasted us quite a while. We finish moving all the furniture. Uh, we get an ambrosia sprout, which I don't think I even touched any of those. Uh, we mined out the storage area that I laid out a few days ago. Uh, it was cold, and the mushrooms were starting to not grow anymore, so I put down a few fires, or well, a fire. I'd put down another fire later, but just a fire right now. And then mined out a lot more of the storage area that I wanted to make and put food in and stuff. Oh yeah, we, uh, we arrested Borshi because I wanted to get him over to the Church of Stefan and stuff. But yeah, I forgot to mention that. Anyways, the uh, next day, Borshi breaks, and we forgot, or, well, we didn't forget, we failed to stop him from escaping. We went ahead and arrested Doofer next, because I wanted to get her converted over to uh, Stefan, but she was like stalwart, loyalist, and uh, like a Teotailer, I think that was it too. And so she had like a 20% conversion rate. So like Grasmere with her like two social wasn't doing much. She was getting at most 2% conversion, which would come back by the next time a conversion attempt would happen. We spent way too long trying to transfer Doofer as a prisoner into the shroom room, as I dub it. I have Doofer go and hunt an elk. We get the rocks out of the storage room the next day, but Grasmere goes catatonic and a uh, man in black decides to show up, which is very useful. His name is Hicklin. He was great until he got kidnapped, but that's later. He feeds Grasmere and, uh, Grasmere and Doofer. Uh, he does some light deforestation. We have him uh, do some blueprints for the wooden floors in the bedroom. And Doofer goes berserk, gets shot a few times, uh, and get a quest with a new pawn reward. But I decide not to take it because, like, one, the pawn wasn't that good, and two, I didn't really want a fourth person at the moment. So Hicklin starts hauling stuff and Grasmere stops being catatonic, which is great. Uh, I have Hicklin go hunt some stuff and build a second fire. That's the one I mentioned earlier. Uh, Hicklin almost mu murders Doofer, but I, I arrest him so he doesn't, because, yeah. I get nervous because Doofer wanders around because doors are open, and I see her wander into the barracks. And so I arrest her again but she gets mad and fights and all that stuff it's a mess but we get her captured again uh i built some more traps uh hicklin starts uh cooking because food poisoning and the raw food debuff or 
for the mood is really annoying. So we build some more traps, uh, make a tailoring bench because Grasmere needs a hat thanks to the idea legend because I made it hat, shirt, pants. So we do that, we get a transport pod that we strip and we harvest some mushrooms. Um, we got a wandering trader who we sold a bow to that we had an extra of. Uh, Lynx comes by for a few days. She's useful. We have her smoothing out walls and stuff while she's here. She has her first mental break pretty quickly and beats up Lynx for it. Hicklin throws in a punch just because, and uh, we also get a psychoid leaf drop. We, we can't refine them, so we leave them out there. And yeah, Lynx keeps smoothing uh, the walls. A horse self-tamed, so we went ahead and killed that and turned it into food, because free food. Uh, Grasmir and Lynx spend the day uh, smoothing walls as Hicklin does some tending for Doofer and uh, Butchers. We take a quest the next day that in five days, like the other one, uh, some archers will show up. But this time the reward's going to be a book, which is really cool. So we took that quest and uh, the wall smoothing kept going and Hicklin was cooking meals and stuff. The next day, while Lynx was st still smoothing, I had Grasmere go and uh, mine some uh, steel. Hicklin was cooking. Uh, Hicklin almost murders Doofer, but we arrest him. Uh, Hicklin beats up Doofer instead, and uh, Grasmere makes a, a wood fire generator. Uh, I set some plans down for the dining room and nutrient paste di dispenser and stuff, and they kind of just exist during that day. Doofer decides that they want to break out of prison, but we uh, beat her up, and she goes down almost instantly thanks to how injured she already was because they kept taking their rage out on her. The archers show up. Uh, Hicklin takes care of the first one, but the second and third appear pretty quickly. Hicklin takes the second one, but goes down to the third one and gets kidnapped. It's it's kind of sad. He gets up briefly, which was a little bit of hope, but he goes down almost instantly again. Uh, Grasmere was in a daze, and so was uh, Lynx, so nobody could help Hicklin. So yeah, he, j he just gets kidnapped. Second raid happens the next day, but thankfully a shaman merchant was there. And then a muffalo and squirrel snuck into the shroom room. But yeah, that marks the end of day 50, so uh, let me shill a little bit. Because I got some shilling to do. First up, uh, I've been streaming. This was actually all streamed live, so if you want to come hang out and watch me play games and stuff uh come hang out at the streams I, I don't do them on a schedule so if you just see me doing one or something like that you can just show up and hang out i'm pretty chill uh also i've got discord which will be in the description you can join that if you just want to talk to me and don't want to like show up for the streams or whatever or if you want to know when the streams happen a little easier that too um yeah other than that that's really all the shilling i had i guess uh, subscribe if if you like it well uh, grass mirror snaps out of the days uh, freeze doofer and uh yeah so doofer uh, kills the muffalo and the squirrel doofer goes catatonic as grass mirror butchers the squirrel and the muffalo cooks a few meals. Grasmere kind of cleans up a bit and gets sensory mechanites, which sucks. Uh, harvests a bunch of mushrooms. Uh, Doofer isn't catatonic anymore. And yeah, we have two wanderers stay for a few days, uh, one of which I have start working on clothes for uh, Grasmere. Grasmere just. Uh, Harvests some mushrooms that day. I start mining out the dining room. I uh, set up the uh, thing for the nutrient paste in the dispenser. 
or the blueprints, I mean. And, uh, so after that, uh, a person we had picked up from that shaman merchant that helped us with the raid, who went down, uh, finally leaves. They were eating a bunch of the food. Doofer stops being catatonic and starts hunting rodents and stuff, just like old times. I rearrange how I want the dining room done and stuff, and one of the wanderers died to a cougar who was hungry, and the uh, other one, he got upset, but we, uh, we went ahead and captured him. The next day, uh, Doofer keeps hunting. Grasmere goes catatonic. We, uh, we have Doofer start mining steel, and we take a weather quest, one of those forced weather ones, where... We got another book for it, which was really nice. Uh, I, I struggle for way too long to get Doofer to feed the catatonic grass mirror. It was annoying. It was all the, like, reserved for prisoner and stuff. It's so annoying. We had the Wanderer, who we captured, prison break, but Doofer took care of him, knocked him down, and captured him. Grassmere gets back up and starts mining, which was good. Uh, we, we save a Rue from some squirrels. Her name was Rue, and she's pretty good. Uh, yeah, those squirrels. I had Doofer kill them. Uh, but sadly, because of the ideology, she mental breaks by nightfall because she's all, like, loyalist and, uh, like, raider and that kind of stuff. So she's got a bunch of mood debuffs. Uh, we build new traps, mine some steel, uh, prisoner tries to escape again, but Grasmere takes him down again without getting hit a single time, which was good. The Wanderer dies from an infection, though. Uh, I completely forgot that he had an infection. I had seen it, I attended it, but I just completely forgot. It, he wasn't that good, so it's not that big a loss. Anyways, uh... Grasmere starts making a wood fire generator after being able to uh, make the nutrient dispenser. The old one had been burned down back when Hicklin got kidnapped. Then harvests some mushrooms. Uh, she finishes making the wood fire generator so they can eat better foods and get more nutrition for less meat and raw food which is good it's really good uh we butcher a few deer that doofer killed um got raided but they died to the traps even though i kind of wanted to catch them grassmere starts mining out the dining room and a rabbit goes mad but we just kind of ignore it uh we arrest rue and start working on converting her so we're It'll be better because of just how aggressively bad her ideology was. Also, while mining out the dining room, we found some compact machinery, which was nice. Uh, Doofer goes in mental breaks and beats up Rue, and Grasmere starts building the uh, air conditioner for the freezer. Uh, we start working on cleaning up the torture dungeon ass uh, blood all over the floor because it's really annoying to look at. Um, we almost lose the nutrient paste dispenser to uh, Doofer having a mental break, but we take care of that. Uh, we get raided, and they die to our traps like they usually do. Rue goes berserk, but Doofer takes care of that. Um, Grasmer harvests more mushrooms, and Rue gets her arm infected. We end up amputating it because the tend that she got was awful but it was a failed amputation still removed the arm but made her bleed out a bunch sadly while uh tending rue grasmere goes berserk doofer has to take care of both grasmere and going berserk and then have to tend rue right afterwards so rue doesn't bleed to death there was a transport pod crash that had a pretty decent pawn in it, but they were bleeding so much I didn't even bother trying to save them. Grasmere harvests a bunch of mushrooms, and then Doofer goes catatonic, sadly, but Grasmere manages to convert Rue. So we go ahead and uh, arrest Gra uh, Doofer. 
so that we can start converting her despite me having said before she gets like two percent per attempt and it comes back by the next attempt but whatever grassmere finishes by planting a bunch more mushrooms i try to have grassmere read a book the next day but she wasn't on recreation so it didn't work uh rue mines out the uh, dining room some more and grassmere chops down some trees then she smooths out a wall because uh, i need to put down a second air conditioner but the power wasn't gonna reach so I do that, and then Grassmere and Rue haul some shrooms over to the uh, nutrient paste dispenser, and we take a quest for another book, because I was on a book collecting spree, and this one was to take care of a boar. So we do that, uh, the boar comes, and we put him in a bed and stuff. I start planning out the furniture for the dining room, and I also build a table before bed so that they would be able to eat at it this hopefully make them a little happier rue works on the expansion for the dining room because it needed another block of width for what i wanted planned we get raided by a pretty good genie but sadly he dies to the first trap put down a bookshelf next to the nutrient paste dispenser because you know like at a uh at like a subway or whatever they'll have like those shelves with the chips on them i imagined having one of those but with like books so that whenever they go and grab their food they can grab a book so they can recreate in the mornings it's, it worked but it's not the way i thought anyways uh grasmer builds a few chairs rue finishes the extension Grasmer also builds a second cooler because the first one wasn't enough and the second one wasn't enough, but yeah. Uh, Doofer goes to kill a boar that I'm taking care of, so we've got to arrest her again. Uh, I finish playing out the dining room, and I also give up on keeping Doofer prisoner since her ideology is alright because she's a transhumanist, so the nutrient paste and stuff is all fine. It's just the fungus because she's not a tunneler. Uh, Rue and Doofer fight some uh, rabbits. Rue gets infected and mental breaks, so I've got to beat her up and then arrest her. Because whenever I tried to arrest her, she got all grumpy and started fighting. So we had to beat her up and capture her so that I could tent her so she doesn't die. We get a trader, and we offload a bunch of the equipment, namely the 10 clubs I made at the beginning. Very cool, very cool. Uh, day 80, we mostly just keep Rue alive, although Grasmer does make two more chairs. Uh, the next day, Rue recovers. Uh, Doofer goes into a daze. Uh, I start making a trap hallway a bit safer because I had a door. A uh, merchant shows up, but doesn't have anything good. They do leave us three medicine though, which is really, really good. Doofer finishes mining out the steel vein. Uh, Doofer almost gets eaten by a cougar. Uh, I do start plans for the third uh, air conditioner, as the freezer still isn't frozen. Uh, Rue loses a fight to a rat, but Doofer finished the job. Uh, we spend a day mostly just waiting for Rue to get up, but she doesn't. Uh, Grasmer builds the third cooler. We cut a bunch of trees, and Doofer almost destroys the nutrient paste dispenser again due to a mental break. It's so annoying. Uh, we start the morning of the next day with a much, much needed psychic soothe, which definitely helps. Doofer and Grassmere finish making tables. A uh, trader comes by, but doesn't have anything we need. I move the butchering spot into the freezer and redesign the cave fully so that it would be more base like rather than cave like, you know? Uh, we make a few uh, turbines the next day as Rue mental breaks and grabs a corpse out of the graveyard. Uh, uh, the next day we f keep working on the redesign and the turbines, but in other news, local rabbit gone mad, 
stopped by local hero doofer and hold your applause uh grasmer cleans up the plants blocking the first of our turbines and builds the second one doofer goes into a daze and, and we start mining out the hallways and stuff grasmer and doofer finish the hallways and a decent escape crash pod guy shows up but doesn't have any intellectual so we just ignore him uh we start uh shooting a giant tank which is blocking one the second turbine uh but that takes a really long time so we've got to finish it the next day so they go and eat and then they finish shooting up the tank we also get rid of all the plants and stuff blocking that turbine and then we start putting down some lights uh, i take back my not in rescuing that drop pod person because we, we decide we want a fourth person because why not and their name is ray wolfen rue gets the flu uh we put the pig in its shuttle because it's time to return it and uh i forgot to send it off for a bit but yeah uh rue goes into a mental break starts insulting people ray wolfen joins us uh, I remember to send the pot away and we get the book. Uh, we destroy the gene pack because, I mean, we don't really need gene packs because, you know, we don't have the ability to use them. We also find a uh, new steel vein a bit closer to the base, so I mine out a bit of a path for it or plan out a bit of a path for it. Ray Wolfen, Grasmer, and uh, Doofer all have a party, but Rue is sick, so she doesn't get to join in. Grasmer and Doofer reach the steel and begin mining the next day. Uh, I also plan out a research room, and we get a quest to find one of the artifacts for Stefan. Uh, the day after that, I begin expanding the power and lighting into the barracks and the dining room so that people can see and be more comfortable and stuff. Uh, I also queue up hats for Ray Wolfen and Rue. Uh, I, I do start putting down vents and uh, heaters and that kind of stuff to keep the cave a bit warmer because it's really cold and the mushrooms haven't grown for a few days. Uh, and then Grasmer and Rue... Doofer mine away at the steel vein as well as Rue and Doofer going into their own dazes right after each other. Uh, on day 96, the temperature goes back to normal in the cave and Grasmer plants some more mushrooms. Grasmer also finishes mining the steel in that second vein. Uh, on the 97th day, Rue begins mining out the research room and I plan out some personal rooms for everyone. Grasmer and Doofer mine out those, and then we get our first big raid right after that of three people. So I send out Doofer and Ray Wolfen, as they have by far the best shooting stats, to take care of them, each one equipped with one of our revolvers. I would have sent out uh, Rue as well, but Rue didn't have a revolver to go out with. We take care of them pretty easily and manage to kill them all, but I wanted to save one of them, and that one ended up bleeding out too fast, so we ended up having to give up on them. On day 98, we get a small shroom harvest, and I uh, give all the rooms doors and lights, and Doofer goes and hunts down some animals because we're pretty low on food. On the 99th day, we chop down some more trees and put down some floors in the personal rooms. A cougar gets hungry, so we block off the left side of the base. And yeah, on day 100, Ray Wolfen kills a rabbit, gets a heart attack, and dies. Doofer hunts as Grasmere builds floors, some vents are put down in the rooms, and uh... Yeah, everyone goes to bed, and that, that was the end of day 100. It wasn't very climactic, but uh, there was a heart attack. Whoop. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's the end. Hey, thank you so much for sticking around until the end. I really appreciate it. This is definitely the biggest project I've tried doing before, and... It took way longer than I was expecting it to, but 
it was definitely rewarding and I'm pretty happy with what I ended up with. Uh, if you liked it, uh, come tell me what you liked about it or if you didn't like it, and come tell me as well in the Discord or in comments or whatever you want to do. And yeah, um, have a nice day I guess. Uh, thanks for showing up.